Hi. Good morning to everyone. Today is the basic topic is actually on dental caries classification. Actually, we all know dental caries is the first aspect of which is the tooth which is having a caries part which is going to happen in a structural variation which has a very much problem in the future. So, we have to know the stages of classification that is nearer to the enamel, dentin or in the pulp. So, to classify that, we need some amount of knowledge behind it. So, previously they made many studies and they concluded with some research articles stating that some case which is happening on the enamel will come on this aspect. Something will happen on dentin will have this best of treatment plan. So, something which is having on pulp which will have a root canal treatment plan. So, which all will classify based on the dental caries extension. So, we are coming to the first thing will be your definition of a dental caries. It's an irreversible microbiological disease, which is on aspect which is happening on the calcific tissues of the tooth, which is characterized by demineralization of inorganic portion and destruction of the organic substance of tooth, which often leads to a cavitation, which is called as, called as dental caries. So what the main aspect of this definition says is, actually, our tooth is a calcified mass, that is hydroxyapatite crystal, which is a, where the dental caries happen because of any type of carbohydrates and some sugars. The sugars and carbohydrates which is going to settle on the tooth will progressively damage the tooth and which is an irreversible microbiological disease that cannot be reversed in any aspects until unless it is treated at the first stage, that is enamel case itself. If it is going to be deep in the dentin and pulp, we can't get back to the tooth again. So basically, these things happening to form a cavitation, which is normally in dental terminology, they call it as a dental case. So coming to the classification is basically based on the depending on the nature of the attack and depending on the progression of the caries and depending on the surfaces involved and based on the direction of the attack of the caries as to activity and numbers of surfaces are involved in the tooth surface and basically the brain and uh, main classification which is more acceptable thing is this game uh, the given plaque classification basically for the treatment and the restoration design. So coming to the natural attack, it can be types of two types, that is primary caries and secondary caries. Primary caries are very much we all know. Primary states that it's a first stage of caries, that is incipient caries, that is a happening on the tooth surface, is a first stage of the caries, which is morally seen in the normal in any two, that will be imitating a uh, what color colors change will not be seen. Only the small small changes are being seen will be a somewhat white, chalky white color can be seen in the tooth. So that is the primary caries. And secondary caries is nothing but is recurrent caries. That is after the restoration or filling is done, again the caries is happening into the tooth structure. It is called as a secondary caries. Primary caries, if it is restored with any type of material which is having a fluoride content, which can be a predictable success we can see in our day-to-day -day practice. But if you see in a secondary caries, it can be recurrent is because due to the poor oral and maintenance and basically by the previously done restoration, which is a faulty restoration, so left behind caries, that is some caries which is left behind and restored with the same thing which, which is called to be happening is called as the secondary caries. And coming to the progression of caries, so progression caries is nothing but it's acute. Acute caries are very rapidly invading the process where it involves more, more than five or six teeth in an oral, oral cavity. And they are very soft and light color. And usually pulp is involved at the early stage. Why? Because in this case, because basically it's seen in the small age children, that is school going children are more commonly acute phase of caries is more common. In that variations, you can see rampant caries, nursing bottle caries and radiation caries. Radiation caries is the one caries which is happening due to the some radio, uh, what is it, if you're going, uh, some patients going undergone for any type of cancer treatment, 
they can have a type of called as a radiation thickness where the more amount of the, when they are having head and neck cancers they are going to get a full amount of therapy where it will leads to the production of saliva is very low and there is a more common sacrifice for happening of caries rampant caries and nursing body caries are both be seen in the somewhat uh, from nursing body caries is a caries which happened due to the to other uh, for the uh, infants which have used to get the milk and feeding bottle which is giving keeping for long, more than 10 to 15 hours per in the mouth which can lead to a nursing bottle caries and rampant caries so coming to the progression of caries it is mainly chronic so basically we see in that capital phase and you know, chronic these are long standing and few in number and it can be can be um, it can be treated with the restoration of particulars if it is going to be nearer to the dentin if it is going to be pulpal region it can go for various treatments of the uh, canal treatment or pulp automatics and surface involved the basically the first first surface which is going to involve is a fits and fissures where you can see the buccal and buccal or buccal or mineral fit, where it is the pits and fissure caries are more common. And smooth surface is basically seen in the premoras and moras, where the proximal buccal or lingual surface of the lower anteres can be involved. And root caries also is the one more pattern of caries. So, directional caries attack, there is a forward caries and backward caries. Forward caries is nothing but the proceeds from enamel to the dental. And lesion is triangle in shape, there is a base of the dynamic surface and attracts to the sedent. And basically, it's seen in the pits and fissures. And backward case is nothing but which is proceeding from the dentin enamel junctions towards the enamel surface, which is also having a similar triangle shape where the base is seen at the DEJ, but the apex is seen at the enamel surface. That is, it's coming from backwards from low to the upper and upper to the lower. This is the basic carpet. Uh, characteristics of the backward and forward caries. From coming to the number of surfaces involved in the tooth will be a simple compound and complex. Simple is an only one surface involved by the caries, but compound is a two surface involved. And complex, which is having a more than two or three surfaces, which involves a complex surface of caries. And coming to GP Black's classification, he actually regulated into five types of class cavities which is coming under the different surfaces. Based on surface involvements, he made a classification. The class one, which are, it is a basically seen in the pits and fissures and defective grooves and basically seen on the occlusal surface of the molars and premolars. And occlusal to the facial lingual surface and low lingual pits of the anterior, that is upper anterior tooth as near as a single region. So it is having a three definitions. Mainly first one will be, first part will be seen in the upper surface of the molars and premolars of pits and fissures. And second one will be the occlusal and facial thoughts of the uh, lower molar and upper molar and lingual pits of the lower, uh, lower incisors and upper incisors. So basically upper incisors are more common for lingual pits of caries. So coming to the class two definition, basically, they are seen in the proximal aspects of the molars and premolars. That is, the lesion which is seen on the proximal, that is either on the mesial or distal surfaces, which is involvement, which is including with the occlusal proximal surfaces, can be seen, or either you can see as a mesial box or a distal box can be seen, or either it can be traveling in the both the surface. That is, the mesial occlusal distal can be called. So basically, this cavity design is seen in the premolars and molars only. And class three, we see it is basically seen in the anterior tube, basically on the upper and lower anterior tube, which is involved in the proximal surface that doesn't involve the incisor lectures. And basically, this treatment strategy for class three will be mostly will be your composites and GACs will be the treatment of option for class threes. In class four, you would see it is nothing but just the change in the direction of the caries. That is, it can be involved in the proximal, but involved in the incisor edge with tooth. If, if, if you see the class three, there is incisor edges not involved, but in this class, incisor edges also involved. So it basically it happened due to the caries or it can happen due to the 
class two or class one fracture. That is full fracture. It also you can see where it can involve the, uh, how to say, the proximal and incisal edges are involved. You see the class right? It is seen in all the teeth, especially in all the teeth, mainly on the gingival third of the region. That is nearer to the gingival region. You can see this type of lesions. And basically, the best treatment for class five will be your gold restoration followed by the GAC and followed by the microcomposites. These three things will be the basic good restorative material for class five. And class six are mainly it is an additional classification which is not given by GB Black, which is given by its student named Dr. Simon. He given this classification. He found that the incisive tips and cuspal uh, incisive uh, cuspal heights of the molars and incisive edges of the anterior tooth are the more commonly seen site for these lesions. Basically, these lesions are more not commonly seen. But regularly, if it is going to be seen in the scenario, it can be seen in the patients. Okay. So, thank you very much for listening to this video and hope it is useful for you. Thank you.